So today we're going to be talking about adding vectors. So we'll understand the vector addition, add and subtract them, we'll graphically resolve them by moving the arrows around, and then we'll use math to resolve them as well, using Pythagoras and Sokatoa. So first things first, you need to know which things are scalars, which things are vectors, because only vectors is what we're going to use the addition for. So these are a whole bunch of things that we need to know. Time, speed, mass, length, displacement, acceleration, velocity, force, distance. So you will know that scalars, size only, number only, time, distance, speed, mass. Vectors would be the force, the displacement, the velocity, the acceleration. All of these have a direction. These only have the number. When you're drawing vectors, you will have the tail, and then you'll have the tip. We will draw them from tail to tip, and then that's what we'll use to join these arrows together. So, for example, we've got a couple here. What we'll do is I'll show you. If I wanted to add these two arrows, I can just take this one and do it tip to tail, like that. Now I have this, and my result will be direct straight to the end. That's one example. If I had two like this, I can just put them like that, and you have one long straight. That is my final result. And finally, we can do the same thing with here. I can move that, I can move it there. It doesn't matter, as long as it's tip to tail, like this. So that's a, a quick intro on how to move vectors around. So, of course, adding. You will do two plus four. They're in the same direction. The result will be six. If they're both going to the left, it'll be the same thing. The result will be six, but, of course, to the left. If we have two centimeters right and four centimeters left, now they're opposite directions, so you'll have to subtract them. The result will be two centimeters to the left, of course, because this is bigger than this. So the result will be two centimeters to the left. Now, if I'm going to subtract them, so what I'm saying is I'm going to take two minus this. So what that means is the same idea. If I say negative this, it's the opposite direction. It is the same as me doing this. So it'll be 2 plus 4 in the left direction. That's what this means. So the result will be 2 to the left. So what did I do? I have my 2 going to the right, and I have a 4 going to the right. But if I'm seeing minus 4, then of course it'll be 2 minus 4. It'll be going to the left. So if I said this, 2 centimeters minus this, what does that mean? So if I'm going to have 4 to the left, minus 4 to the left would, of course, mean it will be going to the right. The opposite of this, that's what I mean if I write the minus. So keep that in mind, because that could confuse you in an exam. If I'm saying minus the arrow, you do the opposite. This is left, it means it will be going right, which means this will become 6 to the right. All right. So, the graphical method, this is how you will just draw the vectors. You'll draw one, you'll draw the other, just like I showed you, and then your result is from start to finish. This becomes my resultant for the adding of vectors. Something is called a parallelogram, basically meaning if I had Q going to the right, P going up, I can actually take my Q and put it up here instead. I can take this Q and put it here and then draw the result. Or I could take my P and bring it across here. So I'll follow the Q and then take the P and I will do it. So the whole idea is tip to tail and you can draw it in any way you want. The result, if you noticed, if I went this way or if I went this way, the result is the same. The result goes from start to finish right here, exactly the same. Okay, very good. So adding some vectors, if I said minus 3w, so here is w, minus means opposite of this, so this is going up and to the right a little, that means it'll be going down and to the left, and I will do it three times, so I've added three of them. What if I said to you, u plus v, this plus this, so I will do the tip to tail method, I'll draw the first one, and then I'll draw the next one, and then I have my result from here to here, that is my resultant right there. If I say to you, u minus v, remember now I'm saying minus, u is the same, but if I'm saying minus v, this is the opposite direction. So it'll be like this, and then it'll be going to the right instead. That's negative v, because v is supposed to be left. We're going to make it go to the right. So there you go, nice little uh, resultant there. And you can get more complex. You can say 2u, 3w, and v. So we'll just draw all of the arrows together. There's my 2u. 
there's my three W's, and there is my V, and then the result looks something like that. So when you have vectors in two dimensions, when they are going something like this, this is the X axis and this is the Y axis. So then you have A and B being perpendicular. We can use Pythagoras. Remember Pythagoras? C squared equals A squared plus B squared. We put these together, tip to tail, and then we have this one here. This becomes a right angled triangle. And then you can calculate the resultant, which is the C side. So if you remember from math, you will have the A squared, and then you have the B squared, and then you have the C squared. And you can resolve it. And of course, at the end, you must take the square root. At the end, to find the result alone, you take the square root of everything, which I've already got here. OK, easy stuff. You also need to know about the angles. So if I have this angle between them, I need to be able to find this. I would have to use so ka toa. I would have to use trigonometry to help me find the angles. This is the hypotenuse, the opposite of my angle, and this is my adjacent, adjacent to the angle. Adjacent means next to. OK, here is the so ka toa that we did in class. You've also done this in math as well. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan is opposite over adjacent. Sine, opposite, hypotenuse. Cos, adjacent, hypotenuse. Tan, opposite, adjacent. So, ka, toa. This helps you when you're trying to figure everything out. If you're trying to find the components, by the way, a quick tip, if you're trying to find uh, a component of a triangle that looks like this, this will always be sine. This will always be cos. And we can kind of figure that out if you really want to. So if I had a hypotenuse, if I had this, and I wanted to find this, so what do we have here? We have a H and we have an O. We have the O and the H. This only has the H, this only has the O, so these two will not help. This one will help because it has both. Applying the same method to find A, for example, if I had H and now I wanted to find A, A and H is what I would have, A and H. So this only has the H, this has the A and the H. That's why I'm going to use cos. That's the reasoning behind it, okay? Here is an example. Somebody travels 100, 120 kilometers east, 160 north. What is the result? So quickly draw a picture, draw a quick sketch, a glue, something like this, and then you have a, a result going in this triangular direction. So started there, finished there, and we will have our little result, and that becomes a little triangle. This is the horizontal, and this is the vertical, already given. This is the result that we're going to try and find. So we'll use Pythagoras, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And what is this, 120 squared plus 160 squared? Take the square root and your result will be 200 kilometers. This becomes 200, 200 kilometers going that way, okay? We also need an angle to find this because it's a vector, it has a direction, so we use an angle. So this is north of east, which basically means if I have like this, this is north, this is east, uh, south and west. Let me check if that's right. Never eat something wet. Yes, this is good. And I'm going that way. I am going from the east towards the north, north of east. That's not really important. What is important is figuring out this angle. And we will use tan of this one. Why? Well, let's find out why. We have this, which is the opposite. We have this, which is the adjacent. I calculated this, so I could use sine or cos, but maybe we made a mistake with our calculation. We are not sure about our result. I know for sure these two numbers are given. So I will use the O and the A. Remember O and the A? That will be toa. To toa. O, A. Tan of the angle, opposite over adjacent, 160 over 120. But remember, that's for tan. I want to remove the tan, so I have to divide by tan. So it will become tan minus 1, tan inverse. So you'll press shift on the calculator before you press the tan button. And you'll get tan minus 1 of this divided by this. And you will get 53.1 degrees. That is my angle. Okay, very easy. Complete answer, 200 kilometers, magnitude, 53 degrees. This is the direction. So you can break the components up, like I mentioned to you earlier, if you have the components. If I had this value, if I knew this is a number, I have this, I wanted to find this, and I wanted to find this, of course, I will need to know my angle. If I have my angle, I can calculate the horizontal and the vertical. This is usually cos, and this is usually sine. So that's something to remember. 
y is the up and down sign. x is along the way, cos. You can find the angle by doing tan. You can find the resultant by doing the x squared plus y squared. Exactly the same, Pythagoras, trigonometry. And this is the little trick to find these two things. Okay, so if somebody walks 65 meters east, 25 degrees east of north, what does that mean? So I'm going something like this. If I walk 65 meters in this direction, and my angle here is now 25, I can break it up into components. There's my vertical, and there is my horizontal. Now this triangle is a bit different to the one we've done before, but if you follow the same rules, you'll get the correct answer. This will be my right angle, and then what I will have after my right angle, I'll have the vertical and horizontal in this case. So I will have my opposite of my angle. I have my hypotenuse. I have my adjacent to the angle, and I can calculate whatever I need to calculate over here. So in this case, if I wanted the vertical, I wanted to find the A, this is the vertical component, I would have to use my H, and then this is the A, so this, unfortunately for you, you're going to have to use the cos, H cos, C A is Y, so ka toa, so ka, and then toa, remember? We're going to use this. And I have the A and the H is what's given to me. I want to find the A, so that will be ka. So in this specific case, when the triangle looks like this, that's the only time they will flip. So that's something to keep in mind just in case it comes in an exam. If your triangle is like this, just label the sides just to confirm what I need. If I wanted the horizontal component, in this case, my angle is here now. In this case, this is O. This is O. I have H, O and H, horizontal will have to be like this. And there we go, we have the horizontal over there. Very good. So, an example, quickly to get this example done. We have 5,000 kilometers east, and then I said to you, uh, 1,500 kilometers north of east, 40, okay, degrees. The angle would be 40 degrees. So this is the horizontal and the vertical component. Now look at this triangle. What's going on here? This is my angle. This is my opposite. This is my adjacent. This is my hypotenuse. Now look, horizontally, we're back to A again. Look at that, A and H. Ka, this is cos. Vertical is O and H, that'll be sine. So I can do that quickly. I can quickly write over here, I could do H cos theta, 1,500 cos 40, and then I'll get my answer for that. And then I also have this uh, going up the way. I will have 1,500. 1,500 sine of 40. And of course, make sure your calculator is in degrees. You should see the little D at the top of the calculator. Then I add all the horizontal parts. So we have this 5,000 plus this horizontal component, which was 1,149, 1,149. This is a one, by the way. And then you get the total going to the right. And then we also have the vertical component, which is going up, and that was only going up by this much. 964, uh, that's up here. So our new triangle, if I was to add them all together, will look like this. And you can continue finding what you need to find. The resultant, this squared plus this squared will give me this squared, which is what we're going to do right now. And then you can find the angle, what can I do? This is the O, no, not O, this is the A. That's the O, so there's my angle over here, opposite. Opposite of the angle is the O, hypotenuse. And I have been given this and this, I will use O and A, tan, and I have my angle, okay? So that's the steps here. So adding vectors, quick recap. Draw a diagram, add them graphically. You have to choose an X and the Y axis. Of course, X is right and left, this is X. Y is up and down, okay, keep that in mind. Calculate each component if you want to find the component using sine and cosine add the components in the direction, and then to find the final length and direction, we do the square root. So that's something to remember. Thank you.